Hello everybody and welcome to a video from my stairwell here. Not a typical place to do a video, but this fixture right in front of us definitely deserves it. If you've seen my recent vintage fluorescent finds video, this fixture might look a little familiar to you. But since that video, it has gone through some restoration to, well, the state it's in currently. This is the 32 watt preheat fluorescent circle line adapter. It's a little bit different of an adapter in the traditional sense when you see a fluorescent adapter like this. Usually it's a, a ballast with a bulb and it would screw into a standard incandescent socket. Here we're using a little bit of a different system. So let's go ahead and zoom in on it here a little bit. We'll adjust the camera to get a better view. And as you can see, this adapter for the fluorescent fixture just fits on a standard globe fitting. But it's not a regular globe fitting you might find nowadays. This is a four inch globe fitting, which was much more common back in the day when this thing was produced. So the idea here is that you would take off your big globe, take out your incandescent bulb, install a plug adapter into the socket, and plug this adapter into it, and then install the adapter like you would a globe. It literally just sits up in there and you tighten it down with the little tightening bolts to tighten, well, the globe into place. And here you go. Now you have a whole different fixture. It's just a different style of fluorescent adapter. So at the bottom here, of course, we have our 32 watt circle line bulb. We have our little plastic fittings here to hold the bulb in place. This one in the back is the socket. And these two are spring loaded and you'll see that here in a moment when we get a little bit of a closer look. Of course, we have the aluminum fixture itself. Now, if you remember that video, it was kind of a antique white or an ivory color originally, and then someone painted over it. Well, of course, after a couple weeks here of applying paint stripper to it, we've removed all of the paint and it cleaned up really nicely. We have a very nice aluminum fixture here. Got that polished up a little bit, whether it, I mean, worked better than just leaving it alone is a debatable. But we have a nice aluminum fixture and I thought it was cool. So we just left it the way it is, didn't paint it. Of course, right in the front in the middle here is our starter, original to the fixture when I found it. I would like to put some holes in it eventually because I'm sure it's a nice old neon starter. And then we could get a nice view of it turning on, but I haven't gotten around to doing that yet. The last part of the fixture is the white part up here. This is the adapter part. It screws on to the fixture itself and fits into the four inch globe fitting. Now I had a little bit of a problem with this. The uh, new globe four inch fitting here, I couldn't find one that was white. You can find them on Amazon and stuff, but the one that I wanted uh, was out of stock and was a little expensive for what it was really. Those things were 20 something dollars just for a globe fitting. It's really not worth that to me. So I stopped by the local hardware store at McClendon's and took a look and they had this one, a four inch brass fitting. I didn't really want brass. I wanted it to be white to match the fixture, but hey, I was so excited to at least find a four inch globe fitting. They're so hard to find nowadays for whatever reason, they just fell out of favor over the years. Now I could have painted it white, but I decided to just leave it brass here. It's okay, it matches the little uh, cover nut here on the bottom and it matches the blade arms on the end cons in the house. So well, there's a couple brass things here and there. Anyway, that's the whole fixture. So let's go ahead and take a look at the insides. Here's a quick look at the inside of the fixture. We have an Excel fluorescent ballast. Interesting thing to note here is that it looks like it was originally made for a 30 watt lamp and someone crossed it out and put 32 on it. Very interesting. So there's the label. There's no date code that I could find on the ballast. To the side here, we have this Sylvania Electric Products starter socket. And the socket itself on the fixture is a GE. You see the GE logo there in the middle. And of course, the other sides here are all spring loaded to hold your bulb. So that's all that's in the inside. Of course, you can see the original paint color here as well. Very unique design. Makes me think of a UFO for sure. You got the starter socket here up top. On the other side, you'll see the bolts for the ballast, but they're kind of hard to see at this angle. And the adapter just 
screws right onto the top of the actual fixture there. We've got the two aluminum halves. You can see the holders for the tube, the GE socket here. Very cool. Let's get a look directly beneath it. Not a perfectly circle bulb, but hey, it works. Picked it up at a thrift store for $2, so I can't complain. Now, of course, we got to turn it on. This is the most blink happy preheat fixture I have. This thing is nuts. This thing gives the um, lampy in the kitchen a run for its money. This thing is super vocal too. Of course, we have the AC on and it's real loud and uh, can't hear it too good, but a beautiful blink happy fixture. One more time at this angle. Ooh, that was a nice vocal start right there. Gotta love that preheat action. One more time. And it lights up this little part of the stairway really well. Of course, you don't need anything too fancy here. And it won't be used all the time either. But it does look good here, especially because there's actual headroom here to put it. I mean, as you can see, it definitely brings down the fixture quite a ways. Uh, I'm sure if you had a globe on it, it wouldn't be that far down. But I absolutely love this thing. What a wonderful project. It turned out really well. I really do hope you enjoyed this video, taking a look at this awesome 32 watt preheat fluorescent circle line adapter. What a unique design. Also, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. And thank you very much for watching.